score. And Alan Butcher has already opened up an advantage over Grenville Anderson. Then comes John Leslight. And following him, Ben Ludlow with Errol Campbell and Neil Whitley. But Alan Butcher looks like he's going to uh, really split them up here. He proved he was the fastest car in the time trials. And so what he will try and do is really lay down the rubber and uh, get as much distance between me and the rest of the field as he possibly can in these opening laps. Butcher. Anderson and Ludlow are still the top three drivers. And we've got a yellow light with Barry Blake and Tony Giancola, the two Western Australian drivers who have struck problems in turn number four. Coming out of turn four, the Australian uh, championships have now travelled three laps. And Alan Butcher from Queensland is the leader. Brentville Anderson from this is in second place. Ben Ludlow is running third. In fourth place, we've got John Leslight. Then comes Errol Campbell holding down fifth. And behind him in sixth place at the moment, first of the new drivers, Graham Norman. As they come down the main straightaway this time, they'll have uh, 45 laps to go. And Alan Butcher is still the leader from Grenville Anderson. In comes Ben Lundow, followed by John Westlight. Then Mr. Campbell. Then comes Graham Lilford, followed by Neil Whitley. We have another yellow light with Tony Giancola of Western Australia having had a fence connection in turn two. Giancola is out. And onto the infield and Denise Butcher is also out. past the Newcastle star timer. They'll have 43 laps. Oh, there's trouble. Neil Whitley has made a complete roll right over the top of Graham Lilford's car. Whitley actually rolled right across the bonnet of Lilford's car. Lilford's car was underneath and Whitley rolled straight over it. Yes, there's the green, they're away. And as they go into turn one this time, it's still Alan Butcher with Wendell Anderson a little closer to him. Benny Ludlow still hanging on to third place at the moment. There's Adrian Anderson and he's the driver that's really making ground. Adrian Anderson is the driver making ground, but it's Alan Butcher from Grenville Anderson, followed by Ludlow, then Adrian Anderson. John Leslie behind him is Campbell. Then come Munro and Dixon, followed by John Smith, Paul McHugh. Uh, then the West Australian Hardy from Pasco. Second last is Pine, and last of all is Hutchison. But here's Grenville Anderson starting to worry Alan Butcher now. 37 laps in running. and has moved up to third place and by Jove, he's the driver that's really gained the ground. And it's Alan Butcher away from Grenville Anderson putting pressure on him now. Followed by Adrian Anderson and then comes Les Light from Campbell. Followed by Ludlow dropping back through the field. Uh, then comes uh, Munro followed by John Smith, Paul McHugh. Then Hardy from Pasco, Pine and Hutchinson. But the pressure really on up top here. And it's uh, Grenville Anderson putting pressure on Alan Butcher. And look at Adrian Anderson. Now that's an incredible performance from the rear of the field. He's the driver that's gaining the ground. He 
he's gaining a hell of a lot of ground on Matt Rafi and Anderson, and he's a real danger. Then Alan Butcher, the leader. Butcher away here from Grenville Anderson, followed by Adrian. Then coming John Leslie. Careful behind him, followed by Lando. Then comes John Smith in 41 from McHugh. Then Hardy, the Australian. And uh, the clear action going on up front here as there comes uh, Grenville Anderson on the inside of Butcher. Butcher kicks away again. 33 laps to run. Alan Butcher, the leader, Grenville Anderson getting to him now. And up the back straight away they go, and it's Butcher from Anderson, and Butcher closes the gate. It's Butcher, Anderson, followed by Adrian Anderson, gaining on them all the time. Then comes uh, Leslie from Campbell, doing a wonderful job as Campbell. Oh, no, Paul McHugh in trouble here. They're not going to hold it up, though. And McHugh is back on the circuit again. And so is Anderson, round the corner they come. And that's Butcher. Butcher away here from Anderson. Anderson and Leslie. And look at the three Tyranas. Look at the Tyranas go. Oh, what an exciting race this is developing into be now. It's totally dominated by the uh, New South Wales cars. And Errol Campbell's uh, in trouble with that car of his. There's no doubt about that, that Errol Campbell's in bother. And he might be forced to withdraw. Still these uh, top two, four, five runners. What have we got? We've got Alan Butcher from Queensland. We've got Grenville Anderson from Lismore. We've got Adrian Anderson from Urala. We've got John Leslie from Lismore. And we've got Errol Campbell from Grafton. Then we have Ben Ludlow from Western Australia. Then John Smith from Newcastle. And then Laurie Hardy from Western Australia. Alan Butcher in the lead still as they come toward the halfway mark in the race and a wheel off. Paul McHugh's lost a wheel. Alan Butcher from Brisbane in Queensland leads the race with 28 laps to go. Green flag. And Alan Butcher leading from Grenville Anderson, Adrian Anderson, John Leslie, Ben Ludlow, then John Smith, the leading Newcastle car at the moment. Eleven cars left in the race as we near the halfway mark. And Alan Butcher has led right from the word go. He's had plenty of pressure applied to him by Grenville Anderson. And now Adrian Anderson is starting to uh, put the pressure on as well. Coming down the main straight, they'll reach the halfway point in the race here where Alan Butcher has the lead. From Grenville Anderson, then Adrian Anderson, followed by John Leslie. John Smith is now moving up too by G. And Smithy might be able to get himself up within striking distance of a uh, placing here if he possibly can. He's starting to look at that situation. As they head down the main straightaway, a great dice going on between Hardy and Smith. Hardy comes through on the inside of Smith, though. Smith now throws back in behind Hardy. And it's Hardy who got the better of Smith there. But look at this race on up the front, the top four boys. They've been fighting like this lap after lap after lap. They've been fighting like it. But it's Alan Butcher. Grenville Anderson just trying to nose through on the inside if he possibly can. Adrian Anderson squeezing them up now. There's that little shuffle that he tries to get away with. Oh, but see Butcher back right off. Didn't want to race on with it. Butcher back right off and said, OK, if you want to start squeezing, he'll have to squeeze hard. And it's all, oh, it's a real battle of tactics up front here now. These are the top drivers of the night, no doubt about it. Butcher, Grenville Anderson, Adrian Anderson and John Leslie. Long way back to John Smith, Ben Ludlow and Laurie Hardy. I'll come down the main straightaway with only 20 laps left to go this time. And still remains that tight water up front. Butcher, Grenville Anderson, Adrian Anderson and John Leslie. Absolutely nothing between them.
And there's a race all on its own up front there with those four great stars. And Alan Butcher, the Queenslander, driving beautifully. He's picking a line there. That's allowing absolutely no one to do anything about it. Alan Butcher leading away, the Queenslander. From New South Wales and Australia, number one, Grenville Anderson. There's Adrian giving the little shot. Butcher throws out the anchor again. 18, 17 laps to run. And the caution flag out on Adrian Anderson. And up the back straight away they go on it's Alan Butcher. From Grenville Anderson, Adrian Anderson and John Leslie. A long way back into Johnny Smith. Then comes Benny Ludlow from Pasco. But Butcher starting to catch the traffic now. And it's a possibility if they do catch this traffic, the Butcher could be in bother. But it's Butcher away from Grenville Anderson, Adrian Anderson, Leslie, then John Smith and Benny Ludlow. Followed by Pasco Hardy. There's John Pine going in underneath the Dixon there. And uh, oh, and Butcher's in bother. There's Adrian Anderson up on the inside of Grenville. And there's Leslie gone through in the inside of Grenville Anderson. Oh, boy. Some action there. 14 laps to run. Alan Butcher, Adrian Anderson, John Leslie, Grenville Anderson. Adrian Anderson, the more forceful of the lot of them out there at the moment, and he could break the power go on Butcher. But it's Butcher from Adrian Anderson. Butcher, Adrian Anderson, Leslie, Grenville Anderson. Then Scott Hutchison. A long way back there to Benny Ludlow from John Smith. Then the rest of the field on it and at all. Oh, there's trouble for Hardy. There is trouble for Hardy. And watch it, fellas. Oh, magic driving. Bad luck, Grenville. Oh, what bad luck. Oh, boy. In real West Australian, that's bloody bad luck. I sincerely hope that Grenville Anderson is OK. You could see Hardy getting into bother coming down the straightaway. He just couldn't pull on enough correction there. But Grenville is out and OK. Great stuff. Tremendous stuff. You've had all possible excitement that could be packed into an event here today. And that certainly puts paid to the chances of the Australian title holder, Grenville Anderson. But we have no mugs at the top, Rod. A wave to the fans to acknowledge that he's OK. There are no... Alan Butcher now with Denise Butcher watching from the infield with only 12 laps to go from Adrian Anderson, then John Leslie. Ben Ludlow in fourth place, John Smith fifth, and John Pine is sixth. Now down the main straightaway, Alan Butcher leads the race from Adrian Anderson, then comes John Leslie. No chase still. Ten laps left to run. It's virtually a sprint home from here. And is Butcher going to try and sprint away from Anderson or what's going to happen? Ten laps left to go. And it's uh, um, Alan Butcher away from Adrian Anderson. Then comes John Leslie, followed by Ben Ludlow of Western Australia. Following him is John Smith. Then comes John Pine. And we can forget about the rest. They're not in contention at the moment. Alan Butcher, Adrian Anderson looking to come through on the inside of him as Butcher elects to drive that high line down the main straight away and Adrian Anderson has driven right through on the inside of him. Adrian Anderson took the bit between his teeth and dived through on the inside and Adrian Anderson has taken up the running. Anderson leads now, the back has flown right off Butcher's car. The back has been ripped right off Butcher's car, but he's a very, very aggressive driver, Anderson. He saw the opening there, a split second opening, and he dived through. Oh, they'll go back one lap. They'll go back one lap, I'd say. Yes, they'll have to go back a lap. Alan Butcher coming up front. Adrian Anderson.
Hamilton in second place. John Leslie is third. Anderson, Leslie and Ludlow. Eight laps to go. Anderson, John Leslie. They're the top three. It's a battle now between Butcher and Anderson. Probably two of the most popular drivers here in Newcastle. And I'd say Butcher's going to sprint now. I'd say he'll go for his life. Alan Butcher. Alan Butcher. They go under the star time up by Adrian Anderson, followed by John Leslie, then Benny uh, Ludlow from John Smith. Round the corner they come and it's Butcher. Butcher leading from Adrian Anderson now. Then uh, John Leslie. There's Anderson inside Butcher again. And Butcher driving a tight line, actually backing off. Anderson a lot quicker than he is. Uh, Butcher the leader. Butcher away from Adrian Anderson with five to go. Followed then by John Leslie. Then coming John Smith. Behind him, John Pine. Followed by Benny Ludlow of Western Australia. Then Pasco. And behind him, the Queenslander, Scott Hutchison. But it's Alan Butcher the leader. There's Adrian Anderson getting to him now. Anderson getting in underneath there. That's Dixon going to the side. But it's Butcher and Anderson. Bumba bar to bumba bar there. Four laps to run. Three and a half from there. And it's Alan Butcher. Butcher leading away from Adrian Anderson. Anderson looking for the inside. Butcher goes out a little. Go Ando if you want him, urge him on. If you win this title in New South Wales, then urge Ando. But it's the Queenslanders title at the moment. Alan Butcher the leader. Adrian Anderson, then coming John Leslie. Round the corner they come and there's two to go. Butcher, Anderson, Leslie, then John, uh, John Pine, got around John Smith. Alan Butcher the leader. Butcher the leader, one lap to go. One to go and it's Alan Butcher. Butcher almost made a move there. Alan Butcher the leader from Adrian Anderson. Round the corner they come and it's going to be Butcher and Anderson. Round the, to the straightaway, Alan Butcher. Alan Butcher. Adrian Anderson, John Leslie. The Queenslander, Scott Hutchison. Then came John Pine from uh, 41 and that's John Smith. So as they cross the line, Alan Butcher in 83, Adrian Anderson in six. Third place went to Les Light in eight. <coughs> Fourth place then went to Scott Hutchison, 84. And fifth place would go to John Pine in nine. Well, a tremendous finale indeed to the Winfield 1981 Australian Saloon Car Championship. Indeed a tremendous finale. A great drive and probably one of the finest exhibitions of driving we've seen in a long time. Obviously, uh, some problem there, some slight problem there at the moment. So what's going on there. Adrian, no doubt, worried about uh, Brother Gwenville, I'd say. 
Right, it let's now go that, uh, at to this Ross. moment. Adrian Anderson may be uh, looking into further discussions with officials, so... Again, again, I'm going to have to ask for everyone's forbearance. Uh, you can stay in touch with exactly what's happening on the communication system there, but the one thing that I do know after being invited to the uh, officials and drivers briefing is that if there are any protests on the outcome of tonight's final, that there is a full body of Australian Saloon Car Federation officials here. The protest would be heard tonight and we will know the result tonight. So that's the way the situation stands. But at this point of time, there will be no presentation right at the moment because of that situation. Back to you in the tower, Rod. The situation was that John Leslie lodged a protest. That protest was dismissed, there was no appeal. Adrian Anderson lodged a protest, that protest was dismissed, he lodged an appeal. His appeal has now been dismissed and he is now, he is now appealing to the federal body. We, we the promotion, uh, think you've waited long enough, so if we could just ask these people to move back and sit down, we're going to make the presentation to third place, which is John Leslight, and we are holding the presentations of trophies pending the outcome, whichever that may be, one, two, three, four. Uh, that'll be held over until next Saturday night, the presentation of trophies to either Alan Butcher or Adrian Anderson. So if you wouldn't mind just sitting down so that the people who are in the stands can uh, get a look and see what's happening, we'll make the presentation of trophies to the third place getter, John Leslie. The Winfield girls, I don't need to introduce them to you. They've been around uh, over the couple of days making sure that you've sampled some of the uh, Winfield cigarettes. But uh, a member from the Sporting Promotions Department of Winfield Cigarettes, Mr Mark Stevenson, is here to make the presentation of trophies on behalf of Winfield. And I now call upon Mr Stevenson to make the presentation to third place getter from the Lismore Club, John Leslie. Thank you, Ross. I'm sure you'll all agree we've seen a highly spectacular weekend of racing here at the Newcastle Motordrome and Winfield 25s are very proud to have been a, the major sponsor of this event in 1981. I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate the organisers and everybody involved in the running of this event for the tremendous job they've done. Without any further ado, I'd like to congratulate John Leslie on his third place in the 1981 Winfield Australian Saloon Car Championships. Congratulations, John. Thanks, all. I'd like to thank Bennett Industries, who own and sponsor the cars. The boys have helped me get the cars ready. The promoter for a beautiful track. And that's about it, I think. Thanks a lot. Well, the Winfield girls sashing uh, John Leslie. I hope that um, you'll understand the situation we're faced with, ladies and gentlemen, in, our, in the presentation of our trophies. Congratulations to John. He uh, was fraught with disaster last Easter when we had the Easter Grand Prix here. And uh, I remember remembering coming down Main Street here, rocking the car to try and keep petrol pumping out to keep him going those last couple of laps, but he didn't make it. He now steps into the uh, third place getters dais for the number one title in Australia, and that's the Australian title. <laughs>